In the National Museum of Chinese Writing, there is a piece of oracle bone that dates back 3,000 years. On this bone is carved some small symbols. These are the earliest form of Chinese writing ever found, oracle bone script. These inscriptions on animal bones, or turtle shells, offer a glimpse into the lives of Shang Dynasty nobles more than 3,000 years ago. Many of these ancient characters have been recognized by scholars. With brief annotation, it's not difficult for contemporary Chinese people to understand their meaning. The oracle bone inscriptions have roughly the same structure as the simplified characters that Chinese people are using today. They are widely seen as the origin of the modern Chinese language. In other parts of the world, there were many other ancient writing systems, such as hieroglyphs from ancient Egypt, cuneiforms from ancient Babylon, and Mayan glyphs from Mesoamerica. But oracle bones are the only ones that have evolved into a language still used today, the current Chinese characters. This is the site where the ancient oracle bones were first unearthed. More than 100 years ago, this used to be a farmland, where nearby villagers could often discover oracle bone fragments, but no one knew their value, and some even made a medicine out of these bones and sold them to other towns and cities. It was in 1899 that the fate of these bones began to change. A scholar in Beijing, Wang Yirong, came across the oracle bones and noticed the tiny symbols on them. After verification by experts, these symbols were identified as ancient Chinese writings. Up to now, around 160,000 pieces of oracle bones have been found. Among the 4,300 characters inscribed on them, only 1,600 have been decoded. These oracle bone scripts are like secret codes leading to ancient China. From these fragments, experts have found that divination was popular in the Shang Dynasty, and that Lady Fu Hao, a concubine of one emperor, was China's first female general. The oracle bones are treasured because they reveal much about the society and people's lifestyles in the Shang Dynasty. Now, more than half of the oracle bones discovered are yet to be decoded, and experts are working hard to unravel their mysteries. Song Zhenhao, a professor of the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, is building an oracle bone script big data lab. It's divided into three parts, a character database, a resource database, and a document database. At Tsinghua University in Beijing, Dr. Chen Nan is showing the students his latest designs, giant panda emoticons combined with oracle bone inscriptions. These emojis are making the 3,000-year-old characters come alive again. Yobiaotingbunzi
Richard Sears, an American, is called the uncle of Chinese characters by Chinese. For 30 years, he has been obsessed with learning Chinese characters and regards oracle bone inscriptions as the best medium for learning them. Sears' method of learning Chinese characters with oracle bone inscriptions has been applied in the teaching of Chinese characters. Yeah.